get in. Oh my God, a massive sigh of relief and a massive, massive news has come out now at eight o'clock that the European Super League is any minute now, maybe tonight or tomorrow, is going to be cancelled. 12 Premier League clubs are... Um, they're all coming together to discuss a meeting to just abandon this. Um, all I've got to say is, to the Real Madrid president or whatever he is, Perez, have that because it was a stupid idea in the first place and and it's the owner's fault. And honestly, this is going to be a massive sigh of relief. I literally made a video a couple of days ago saying football's over, football's dead, 18th of April, the day that football died. But finally... It looks like it's coming back. It looks like we're going to have the Premier League back. Uh, international football is going to be all perfect again. This is massive, massive news. And this is my raw reactions. I've got no no notes or anything. I've just seen it on TalkSport now. And I do believe Chelsea fans went to Stamford Bridge today to... Um, to protest against it, they weren't letting the players in through the entrance. Now all of a sudden they're singing and dancing because they've heard the news, which is it's amazing. And it's we finally got to that point where the fans have taken over, they've taken control over what this stupid millionaire person's doing. Oh, it's gonna save football. Um, and I saw saying 18 to 24 year olds don't watch football anymore. That's what they're doing, it's to save it for the older generation. It's just total rubbish. And Honestly, this last this lasted short than a cup of tea. It's honestly, it's just amazing news, and I'm so happy. Um, still not very happy with the owner side of it, like um, them accepting it just for the money. But honestly, I couldn't care less at the minute. Um, hold on a minute, let me get my. I was going to stop wearing this, but now I can put it back on the Arsenal shirt. Hopefully, um, but yeah, just like I said, amazing news for every Premier League fan out there. Um, there's going to be none of this, hopefully, sorry, it's not confirmed, hopefully it's not going to be any of this, they can drop out, the pre they have to drop out the Premier League, they can't compete in Champions League, their players can't play in international games, it finally looks like next season we're going to have a 20 team Premier League with the likes of Arsenal, Spurs, Man City, Man United, Liverpool, which is great, and none of this, let's give West Ham or Leicester a chance of winning the league, Honestly, it's just going to be good to have a pure Premier League season next year. It's probably going to be the best, most relieved one we've had in a long time. Because this news, honestly, I can't say enough. It, even though I, I'm not a massive fan of the... Well, I am a fan of, fan of the Premier League, but I'm not a massive fan of the club in there. I'm more of a Wrexham fan, non-league. Put the Arsenal stuff up there, though. I do follow Arsenal, but obviously just very happy. Um, Euros looks like it's going to be going ahead, thank God, with all the players and stuff. But yeah, 12 clubs all coming together to just demolish this stupid idea that Perez of Real Madrid came up with. Honestly, what are you thinking? And I'm, He is in the mud, 100%. The only way that this Super League was going to be stopped was... Oh, I, no, I can't, I can't say it, honestly. But I'm just relieved. Thank you. Thank you to all the clubs out there that have finally, finally got over the owners, taking control of this stupid tournament that is the European Super League. It is no more, hopefully. Um, that, Like I said, they're having a, dis a meeting this small, uh, today Sorry about trying to just disband it, which I think is great. Um, they've obviously tried to bait them in by all signing it, and then they, it's almost like they've just come back and they've just said, nope, just, they're just going to expose them for having this stupid money tournament. It wasn't for the football, let's be honest. It wasn't for the football. It's all because of the money that was going to be made. I'm sorry, but any of the UK fans wouldn't have watched it. It's going to be people from, like, China, India. Uh, not, not in a racist way, obviously, but they're just going to be watching it, which will continue to keep the revenue in for them to keep this league going, which will replace for some other stuff. But I can tell you for a fact, no English fans would be watching the European Super League, and they won't have to now. Because it's hopefully going to be cancelled. Thank God. Wrexham won't be up to League 2, like I said, but who cares? Super League is hopefully going to be cancelled. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like. And I'll see you guys in another video. Come on! Okay.